uh, the statement was made that there's no evidence to support the use of conversion therapy, so-called, uh, I'll put that in air quotes, um, if there's no evidence supporting its effectiveness, the question that I would pose would be, why bother to ban it? If there is a correlation between LGBTQ identification and suicidality, perhaps that should be taken as connection between these identities and lifestyles and other harmful effects on the heart and the mind and the soul. Now, of course, heterosexual individuals are sinners before a holy God too, guilty of judgment, and the only way of salvation is in Jesus Christ. Nothing about that experience was positive for me. I didn't even feel like I got help for the actual issues I had. The actual depression, et cetera, was not addressed for me because they focused on what they thought needed to change about me. Not what I wanted as a client, but what they wanted as the clinician who decided for me what I needed to do in therapy. If there were therapies purported to be able to bring someone from a heterosexual, uh, so-called cisgender orientation, pick whatever labels you wanna use, and turn them into a member of the so-called LGBTQIA+, who knows what the plus stands for, quote unquote community, uh, everyone would outcry uh, what, what, uh, what a wonderful thing uh, that is. In fact, um, we see throughout media that that perhaps is the agenda, but uh, instead it's problematic to go the other direction. To me, this smells suspiciously like actually a state-sponsored act of religious imposition because the junk science is that a person's inward identity can be somehow out, uh, dif different uh, from their biological sex and God-given identity. In fact, we are made as whole persons, body and soul, in the image of God. God made them male and female. He made the wonderful gift of sex to be enjoyed in the confines of the covenant union called marriage. So I live in York County. I work in York City. I am a licensed clinical social worker. I work with people. I am also a conversion therapy survivor. Carla, your story touched me deeply because my parents thought that they were doing the best thing for me. And I am standing here as a survivor. I have been through many manner of depressions, anxieties, etc., related to all manner of things in my life. But my parents thought that conversion therapy would fix me, help me, make me better, a person that could, that they could be proud of. It was never about me. And they fully believed that I had no place in their community unless I was fixed. And the, to me personally, regardless of my licensure and experience in the field, of which I have many years of, for me, it was harmful to be told that I was not loved as I was. It was harmful to be told that I needed to be fixed. And it was harmful to be told that if I refused to be fixed, there was no place for me. And what I experienced, what many of my friends experienced who went through the same thing was a break in their relationships with their families, their communities. And I personally have been in therapy since then, trying to recover and heal from the quote unquote reparative therapy, from conversion therapy. I converted to nothing. I am who I am. I love who I am today. It has taken me years to be able to say <laughs> but I love who I am, and I am proud of who I am. And no amount of conversion therapy would have changed that, but I know other people who went through years of having to recover and learn who they were after saying, oh, I can be something different for you because you're my parents and you love me and you know what's best. And parents may love their children, but thank you. They do not always know what's best. And regardless of whether or not, in this particular instance, not saying in general parents, you know, vague statement, but specifically in terms of what a child knows about themselves, whether or not the parent agrees with what their child thinks, had I been given 
just a little bit more time to develop into who I am and who I could be, that would have happened so much faster had I not had to go back through years of being told that I was not good enough, I was not acceptable as I was, and it was harmful. Clients should set their treatment plans and work with their providers to heal, to meet their needs. Thank you very much for your time.